Good morning, everybody. Welcome to church. I'm so glad you're here to worship with us in this day. I have just a few announcements for you today. Please remember to sign up for your Lenten box. It's pretty exciting. I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to mine. These boxes will include special items for Ash Wednesday, for Palm Sunday, for Good Friday, and for Easter. And so we look forward to you being able to enjoy those boxes. So make up you sign up, make sure you sign up for yours and pick up for the boxes will begin on Sunday afternoon, uh, February 14th throughout that week. And then also wanted to let you know that there will also be a children's Lenten box. Uh, this, isn't, uh, this is something that um, is an addition to the boxes that we have. So uh, Miss Holly will be uh, making sure that uh, those of you with children will uh, be able to participate in enjoying those children's Lenten boxes as well. You'll definitely wanna get both uh, for your families uh, if you have children. So it's not just one or the other, but you really do wanna have both. So we're excited about that and continue to do our very best to reach out uh, and care for folks even during this time frame. Uh, speaking of which, Ash Wednesday, it's hard to believe, but it is really just right around the corner. So uh, coming up a week from this Wednesday, a week from this Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, uh, we will have uh, two different offerings for you. You can do both or one, it's up to you. Uh, we will have an online Ash Wednesday service, and we will start that service at noon on Ash Wednesday, and then you can watch it anytime throughout the day and even the next day if you would like to. Uh, that will include imposition of ashes and Holy Communion. Uh, those items, by the way, are in the Lenten boxes. But uh, if you don't get the Lenten box, just let us know. We will also have some of those items available for you in the portico area of the church. But you want to pick up your Lenten box because, again, those items are there. In addition, that day, we will have a drive through Ash Wednesday. It won't be a worship service, but if you would like to drive through the church between the times of 4 and 6 p.m., Pastor Vince and I will uh, be able to uh, offer you the imposition of ashes in your cars and also Holy Communion. You won't get out of your car. You'll stay right there, and we will be able to uh, be, uh, work you through that, walk you through that. Won't take much time, but we would uh, wanted to definitely offer that for you as an option. So Ash Wednesday, a week from this Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. All right. Also wanted to remind you, we have some really amazing Lenten studies coming up. There are three of those, and you are able to sign up for those in our Sign Up Genius. Uh, and those are available to you, those signups uh, will be on the website, they'll be on the church Facebook page, uh, they'll be around. So look through our social media, they'll also be in your e-newsletter coming up. Uh, but um, so the first one is Courageous Conversations About Racism. This is led by Rick Holt and also um, he'll uh, be helped by my husband, Cam Pyatt. Uh, this is just a perfect time for us to be able to have meaningful conversations about racism. This is not meant to be um, a book study per se, but uh, what we're hoping for you to do is gather together uh, via Zoom uh, if if that's what works out via Zoom, and um, and to be able to just talk through some of the resources that you have um, enjoyed or maybe that have challenged you during this time, and to just talk with with uh, some like minded uh, folks either from our church or from outside of our church, whoever's interested in being part of that. So we're excited about this opportunity, and that will be happening on Sunday nights and starting at seven p.m. Uh, beginning on February uh, 21st. Here's another study coming up, the second one, and that's the one that um, uh, myself and Elizabeth Murphy will be leading. It's based on the book by Lisa Turquist, It's Not Supposed to Be This Way, Finding Unexpected Strength When Disappointment Leaves You Shattered. Uh, I think the title speaks volumes. That'll be on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. starting February 24th through March 31st. 
Again, we would love to have you be part of that. And you can read more about that uh, in our social media accounts. And then also on Thursday uh, in our e-newsletter, feel free to call the church to sign up. And then also, finally, Pastor Vince is leading a study for us that is entitled, Why the Cross? The Sign and the Sacrifice. It's the meaning of the cross and resurrection. It's more of a classical Lenten study uh, that will focus on um, the idea of um, why Christ went to the cross. Christ has died. Christ has risen. Christ will come again, but why? And so uh, this, I'm sure, will be a meanings, meaningful study as well, led by Pastor Vince. It's a five-week study on Tuesday evenings at 7 p.m. via Zoom. So uh, we'd love to have you be part of any of those studies or all of those studies. Also, we know that you are missing being in the church, and we miss you. Uh, so I wanted to let you know that our beautiful sanctuary, which has been open on Wednesdays by appointments, um, you can um, now we're going to open that up during the season of Lent. You can reserve anytime Monday through Friday between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so uh, go ahead and reserve those times. You just need to call the church office, talk to Adrian, or even uh, send an email to us at the church office and we will set up a time for you. If you'd like to meet with uh, either Pastor Vince or I, just let us know, and we will be happy to meet you there to have some prayer with you. We just in, in, uh, invite you uh, to come. You can bring your own Bible, and um, then also please wear a mask. And we have some other instructions to keep you nice and safe, especially during this uh, pandemic, but would love to have you uh, be part of that if that works for you. All right, friends, again, we are so happy you are here to join us for worship in this day. Let's praise the Lord together.